If you don't love it, you're going to fail. My model of business is the Beatles. You know, they were four very talented guys who, who kept each other's kind of negative tendencies in check. Uh, they balanced each other, and, and, and the sum was greater than. Uh, the, the total was greater than the sum of the parts. And that's how I see business. You know, great, great things in business are never done by one person. They're done by a, they're done by a team of people. And, and we've got that here at Pixar. Um, and we've got that at Apple as well. And so that's, that's what lets me do this. Well, you know, with the Beatles, when they were together, uh, they did truly brilliant, innovative work. And when they split up, they did good work, but it was, it, 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 it was never the same. And I, I see business that way, too. It's really always a team. There's a lot of things that happened that I'm sure I could have done better when I was at Apple the first time. And a lot of things that happened after I left that I thought were wrong turns. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And you kind of got to let go of that stuff. And uh, you know we are where we are. So we tend to look forward. And you know one of the things I did when I got back to Apple 10 years ago was I I, I gave the museum to Stanford and all the papers and all the old machines and kind of cleared out the cobwebs and said, let's stop looking backwards here. It's all about what happens tomorrow. And because and, you, can't, you can't look back and say, well, gosh, you know, I wish I hadn't gotten fired. I wish I was there. I wish this. I wish that. It doesn't matter. And so let's go invent tomorrow rather than worrying about what happened hey, yesterday. The thing I would say is, when you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is, and your, your life is just to live your life inside the world, try not to bash into the walls too much, uh, uh, try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. Um, but life... That's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. And you can change it. You can influence it. You can, you can build your own things that other people can use. And the minute that you understand that you can poke life and actually something will, you know, if you push in, something will pop out the other side, that you can, you can change it, you can mold it, um, that's maybe the most important thing, is to shake off this, uh, th this uh, erroneous notion that life is, is there and you're just going to live in it, versus embrace it, change it, improve it, make your mark upon it. Um, I, I think that's very important. And however you learn that, once you learn it, uh, you'll want to change life and make it better, because it's kind of messed up in a lot of ways. Um, once you learn that, you'll never be the same again. Well, as you, you may know, I was basically fired from Apple when I was 30 and, uh, and, and was invited to come back 12 years later. So, so that, was, that was a difficult uh, when it happened, but maybe the best thing that ever happened to me. There wouldn't be a Pixar if that hadn't happened. And uh, so, you know, you just, you move on, life goes on, and you learn from it. We're at the end here, but you were fired from Apple when you were 30. Asked to come back when you were, what, 42? Mm -hmm. Did you think at that moment how sweet it is? No, I, I thought at that moment, um, what a, you know, what a circle of life. <laughs> you know, life is, is just always 
mysterious and surprising, and you never know what's around the next corner. So. It's funny, the, uh, the group of people that do not use quality in their marketing are the Japanese. You never see them using quality in their marketing. It's only the American companies that do. And yet, if you ask people on the street which products have the best reputation for quality, they will tell you the Japanese products. Now, why is that? How could that be? The answer is because customers don't form their opinions on quality from marketing. They don't form their opinions on quality from who won the, uh, the Deming Award or who won the Baldrige Award. They form their opinions on quality from their own experience with the products or the services. And so one can spend enormous amounts of money on quality. One can win every quality award there is. And yet if your products don't live up to it, customers will not keep that opinion for long in their minds. And so I think where we have to start is with our products and our services, not with our marketing department. And we need to get back to the basics and go improve our products and services. Now again, quality isn't just the product or the service. It's having the right product. You know, knowing where the market's going and having the most innovative products is just as much a part of quality as the quality of the construction of the product when you have it. And I think what we're seeing is the quality leaders of today have integrated that quality technology well beyond their manufacturing, now going well into their sales and marketing and out as far as they can to touch the customer and trying to, to create super efficient processes back from the customer all the way through to the delivery of the end product so that they can have the most innovative products, understand the customer needs fastest, et cetera, et cetera. built the first software company in the industry and uh, I think he built the first software company before anybody really in our industry knew what a software company was except for these guys and that was huge that was really huge and the business model that they ended up pursuing turned out to be the one that worked really well you know for the industry mm -hmm. so I think but the, the, the biggest thing was Bill was really focused on software before almost anybody else it had a clue that, that it was really the software. Was that's, that's what I see. I mean, I, a lot of other things you could say, but that's the high order bit. And I think building a company is really hard. Yeah. And, and it, requires, it requires your greatest persuasive abilities to hire the best people you can and keep them, keep them, keep them at your company and keep them working, you know, doing the best work of their lives, hopefully. And uh, Bill's been able to stay with it for all these years.